welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny and today I have my father with me. Hi everyone. Guys, we are at DeBella's Subs. DeBella's Subs. We have never had them before. I've seen their restaurants throughout the Columbus, Ohio area. I know that they have 44 of them total locations. They're in Ohio, New York, and Michigan, okay? And they were founded and their headquarters is in Rochester, New York. So DiBella subs, I've always wanted to try them. Dad likes subs, so he's along for the ride, right Dad? All right. Okay, so I read some subs off to him, and the one that he picked, all, uh, picked out was called the Uncle Louie sub, okay? And I picked up a Zesty Italian sausage sub. Okay, and the Zesty Italian is limited time only. So, we're going to get them all out here, guys. We're going to taste test them. We're going to tell you what we like or don't like about them, right, Dan? Right. And we're going to rate them. One being the worst, ten being the best, or somewhere in between. And if that all sounds good to you guys, we please ask you to subscribe. Show the subscribe button some love, guys. It's down below. Click it, boop it, smash it. It's free. It's easy. And if you've already subscribed, or if you don't want to subscribe, we understand. But can you give us a thumbs up? Just asking for a little support for our channel. And that's the easiest way you can support us, right, Dad? Mm. We appreciate every bit of help you can give us. We do, guys. We really do. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your great, respectful comments. Thank you for the thumbs up. And thank you for showing up every day. Like we do, right, Dad? Right. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, the Uncle Louie, guys, I want to real quick tell you that you can get a sub here. Seven inch sub is considered a small. A 10 inch sub is considered a medium. And a 14 inch sub is considered a large. We got two medium sized subs here that we're going to share. We're going to taste test both of these subs. We're going to rate them. And at the end, I want Dad to tell you what his favorite sub is out of these two, and I'll tell you what my favorite sub is out of these two. Okay, does it sound good mm -hmm. to you? So, real quick, this Uncle Louie sub. Let's get it, ooh, it's, it's wrapped. Look how big this thing is, guys. It's wrapped mm -hmm. like in butcher paper, like mm -hmm. white butcher paper. Yeah, Dad, if you're new to the channel, Dad has macular degeneration, guys. It is a progressive vision loss. Uh, it started years ago. He can see light and dark, but he can't make out detail. So this is a true 100 blind taste test for him. And he'll tell you if he likes it or not. Oh, I'm so glad that they cut this. I want you guys to see how big this is. So we saw a lot of people going in and out of this sub shop. Look how big this is, guys. This is the medium, okay? What did I say the medium was? I can't tell you. I'm going to give Dad the bigger half, and I'll tell you what's on it. It's a pretty good size sub, Dad. I'll tell you what's on it. Dad yeah, can go ahead and start with his. So this thing is supposed to have roast beef, turkey, and ham, lettuce, tomato, onions, honey mustard, Swiss cheese, and it's also got a DiBella's Famous Oil Dressing on it. And it's on a fresh baked sesame roll. So I thought that was very interesting. So this is a cold sub, guys. This one is not hot. This one's cold. Let's let's try to take a peek into mine. This thing is full. Can you see this, guys? This thing is full. Ooh, the meat looks super fresh by the look of it. I see the Swiss cheese right there. I see roast beef ham and turkey, lettuce and tomato and onion, and some of that dressing on there. I'm already dropping, so I gotta get some bites off in this thing. This thing is, full. Now it is a cold sub. A 
Okay. It is a cold sub. Cold subs aren't really my thing. Dad told me recently that he doesn't mind cold subs. Sometimes that's what no. he, sometimes that's what you prefer, right? Yeah, right. Um I had to get a little sip here. Now the bread seems a little tough, but I don't mind that. I kind of think it holds up to like the sand, holds the oil and holds the meat in there good. And it's kind of like, you know, easier to like deal with. You got anything you want to say about it right off the bat, Dad, pros or cons? It's a very good sandwich. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. So. The meat is all fresh. It was very fresh. I mean, it tastes like. I didn't watch how they made it, guys. But it tastes like they sliced it right off the deli meat log or piece right. of meat. It tastes super duper fresh, okay? And it's a cold sub, so it's chilled. The Swiss cheese, I think, tastes good on it. The honey mustard tastes good. You can tell it's like a vinegar oil seasoned dressing that they put on this. The Swiss cheese is good on it. Are you thinking of a score for it, Dave? Before, yeah. before you give your score, I like to explain our rating scale, guys, if you're new to the channel. So, our rating scale is 1 to 10, okay? And we're rating it on the type of food it is, right? It's a sub. It's not a steak dinner. It's not a Michelin star restaurant, okay? We're rating it on sub sandwiches, guys. So, uh, a 5 or lower is that things garbage don't waste your money get something else a six to a seven is it's eh, it's okay we will we would eat it but we really wouldn't recommend it anything above a seven we recommend the closer it gets to a 10 we highly recommend and we rarely give out that perfect 10 we save the perfect 10s for that special something that knocks your socks off or that thing that you can't imagine it tasted any better than it does. That's a 10, okay? You already got a score, Daddy, for that? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I'll let you clear your mouth before you just take your time. You got a score? Everything tastes good. It does. I'll tell you what, the, the, the meat and everything, the veggies are red, fresh. Mm -hmm. Uh, the meat is fresh. The bun is fresh. Uh, it's it's Italian bread. Yeah, it's, it's like tough. Italian with sesame it's a, seeds it's on it. It's a tough bread. Yeah, it's a little like thicker chew. It's a little, a little bit more texture to it. Right, right. And uh, I'm going to score this a nine. A nine? Right. Dad's... It's a cold sub and it's good. It's got uh, good flavor, yes. The only thing I think I would have added, I might have would have added some uh, more mayo or told them to put a little more of that honey mustard on there because I like that honey mustard taste on there, but it's just slight. It's not like, I just want a little more. I just want a little more. And that's kind of how I'm feeling about my score too. I just wanted it to be a little more. Cause, and a cold, a cold subs aren't my thing. So I'm scoring it on my preference, but it is very fresh, guys. The score I'm giving this is basically because it's nice and fresh. I got to give it an 8. I got to give it an 8. It's a very, very strong 8. To make it better for me, maybe add a few more onions and maybe add mayo on it. Oh, and that would maybe bump it up to eight and a half, nine, 9, possibly. But it's a cold sub. So it's not, it's not that interesting to me. But it's very, very fresh. I got to say that. It's very fresh. Very good. So you want to set that one aside, Daddy? Yeah. Okay. I'll put it right over here on this because I have a finished filling. You are going to be finishing this one. I just have a feeling when we get home. Okay, let's rearrange some of this stuff. I think I can put this up on Oh, man. Oh, the table got me in the chest, guys. Oh. Okay, the one I picked out... Let's talk about it real quick. It's the Zesty Italian Sausage Sub. This one's a warm one. It's supposed, it's limited time only. It's spicy sausage, grilled peppers and onions, provolone cheese, 
and they didn't put any sauce on it so I added mayo and mustard okay guys real quick that dad sandwich, that sub that we just tasted at Uncle Louie's, that was ten dollars and forty nine cents for. The, That's not bad. Yeah, not for, bad for a ten inch sub. And it's you a saw it's a good to half a sub. I uh, eat half yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, it's a good sub. So, um, this uh, zesty Italian sausage is eleven dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay. Okay. So it's still. It's it, still not bad. It's still it's within still reason. Not bad. It's just as big. Just as long as a medium. And then you can get smaller. You yeah, get like if smaller. you were getting it just for yourself, yeah, you could get the small. The small is a seven inch, that would still be perfect size. Right. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this cheese pull. Oh, 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 look at this. So I'm going to hand Dad one side and we'll inspect mine before. It's we warm. Reckon. It's warm. It, yeah, it's a warm sub. It's a warm sub. So. Let's take a peek in here if we can without losing it. Oh, peppers and onions and sausage. See the sausage? Uh, look at Dad's cheese pull. Oh my goodness. It's cheese all through it. So I put mustard and uh, mayo on this. I am very interested in this. I am super interested in this. Oh, come on, Dad. Mmm. Mmm is right. Oh, come on. This is a very really good sandwich. What? I tell you what, this is good. Guys, we're living our best life right now. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm about to cry. Look at the sausage. Look at those peppers and onions. And the cheese and the mayo and mustard goes great with it. I'm glad I put that on there. Oh, come on. This is the best sub sandwich I've had from any restaurant. It is, it is really good. Oh, come on. Oh, guys. I wish everybody watching right now to take a bite of this sub. I really do. I would share it. You can eat off the end here that I didn't eat off of. Mm hmm. Mouth is full. Hold on. Oh my goodness. It's, it's very good. Mm. And it's very sassy. Mm hmm. What I was trying to say is. I wish everybody watching our video right now could come and take a bite off of the end of this sub. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. Guys. Sub sandwich is really is not really my thing, okay? But this is the best sub sandwich I've bought at a restaurant. This rivals the best sub uh, sausage sandwich that you get like at the fairs. I've had some really good ones from the fair. I know Dad has too. Mm -hmm. This rivals that. I have never gotten a, a, a sausage sandwich from a restaurant that even come close to even like the fair sub sandwich, uh, sausage sub sandwiches, guys. I already know what my score is on this. <coughs> this is very good sausage. It's zesty. Like they said, it's a spicy sausage. It's not super hot. It's mild. It's working up mild, right? So it's it's trying to go to medium, but it's not. It's still in the mild range. Very good it's Italian very good. sausage. Very good right, Italian very sausage. Good. Um, the grilled uh, peppers and onions on it are grilled perfectly. They're not mushy. They still got a little chew to them. They're seasoned up. The only thing I added, it had provolone cheese on it already. The only thing I added was mayo and mustard. Look at the cheese pull. I mean, that's... Do you got a score? Is there anything good or bad about it you'd like to tell them about it, Dan? I like everything about it. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's a very good. It is. And I eat half of the other sandwich. I know. It is a very good. It's a. And I see he's having a little bit of issue. It's a very good sausage. It's got a good casing around it. And Dad has dentures, so he's having some issues trying to chew through that. But other than that, 
that's the way you want your sausages or hot dogs or you know like those types of things you want to have a good casing on them you don't want them to be mushy it is it is super good you got a score for that one already in your mind it is it's a, a good to 10 every bit of it every bit of it is good yeah it's the perfect 10 guys it's the perfect 10 i don't give them out but I have to give it out on that. As soon as I took the very first bite and bit into that sausage and bit into those peppers, I gotta take one more bite before I even finish up. Oh. oh my goodness, I can't even right now. I can't even right now. We are living the best life right now. We are, aren't we? It is good. It's heaven. And you this is a good sandwich. This is very good. The only thing that makes me sad is this is a limited time sandwich. They don't have it every time. Guys, I would have a hard time if I went to go do another review here at uh, De, De Bella's Subs. I would have a hard time not wanting to get this, but it's limited time, so they're not going to have it. And I think they brought it back a few times, so it's one of the ones they put in rotation, right? But they don't have it every time. They should have it every time. It, it, <laughs> I should go into the manager right now and say, hey, listen, this is the best sausage sandwich I've bought at a restaurant. Not at a fair, fair, fair or whatever, but the best sausage sandwich I bought at a restaurant leave that on the menu leave it on the menu me and dad both think it's perfect 10. that's rare that is so rare and it's so good and the roll goes good with it too that sesame mm -hmm. roll it like yeah. talks to it like when it was it being warmed up it makes this roll even better because it's warm i gotta get another bite oh my God. <laughs> Very good. My goodness. Uh, I can't. Yeah, it's okay. That's okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Peppers and onions. Uh, it's got uh, everything in it. It's loaded up. I mean, it literally is loaded up, guys. I don't even know what to say right now other than <clears throat> this is probably the best sandwich I've reviewed in a while. It, it, I, I, you know what? This is the best sandwich that I've reviewed since I started my channel. I have to say this is the best out of everything we reviewed sandwich wise. We're talking sandwich burgers, subs, everything sandwich wise. This is the best sandwich I've reviewed so far. It's, a, it's me too. It's a, also the best I've ever ate. It's <laughs> got a flavor. And I tell you what, it's flavored all the way through. It is. It is. It's perfect. Like, I'll tell you some of the things that would bring it down, okay? If, if the peppers and onions were flavorless and if they were super mushy, then I wouldn't have given this a 10, okay? I wouldn't have. But like I said, the peppers and onions have that little, still little chew to them. They're not mushy. The sausage has a great casing on it. If the sausage didn't have a great casing on it, if the sausage was mushy, I would have brought the number down in the rating. But the I bread goes good with it. The sesame roll goes good with it. The provolone cheese goes good with it. I added mayo and mustard. I think that's helping me some too. Um... It didn't come with a normal condiment on it, so I don't know what I would have scored it without the condiment. It might have been the nine, nine and a half without the ketchup or without the mayo or the mustard. But my goodness, it's the best. It I has one. It went. It went to the high test. It did. It did. I'm shocked. I'm surprised. I never tried this place before. But I'm kind of glad that we did it while I had started, you know, since I've got my uh, YouTube channel going with Dad. Um, I, I'm glad we waited now. I'm kind of glad that 
I got to try this. I definitely will, like I said, this one's a limited time. So I definitely would love to come back and try some more of their subs, uh, preferably their hot subs. They got a chicken bacon ranch that sound good. They have, a mm. they have a buffalo chicken one that sounded really good. I would love to try their cheese steak. I think if this Italian... I thought you were going to try that Yeah, one. but I, I decided on the Italian. Aren't you glad I decided on the <laughs> Italian? <Yeah. laughs> but I bet you their cheese steak is great. It's, I, a, it's a good warm sandwich. Yeah. I'll tell you what. It, it is. is the very best. It's the very best. It is. So, You about ready to let these guys go? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. So anyway, guys, we hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day, right, Dad? The day is better than a good day and a better tomorrow. Yeah, have a great day and a and better tomorrow. tomorrow. That's Dad. Right. That's Dad saying, "Have a great day and a better tomorrow, guys." Until uh, come back tomorrow, see what we're tasting, see what we're eating, rating, whatever we're. Well, it'll be something food related. You know that. So come back tomorrow, guys. Everybody say bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.